Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. It's another hot one here in California. Tomorrow's even going to get hotter. If your air conditioner isn't keeping up with the heat, it may not be your air conditioning system. It could be your air delivery system. In today's video, we're going to talk about the air mix motor and how to diagnose it and how to fix it. If your air isn't coming out the proper vents, let's say it's not coming out the middle vents, it's coming out the bottom, or it has low airflow. I just finished a video on that, but today is going to be the temperature of the air coming out the vents. Let's get started. Let's check it out. Whenever you have a problem with the heater or the air conditioner or the air delivery, the first check you need to make is at the control head. We need to see if that control head has any codes. To do that, you hold the recirc and the rear defogger down and you turn on the key. It's going to go through a series of checks and then it'll flash some codes if there are some codes. We're just going to hold this down and let it do its thing. So it looks like it's got a code one. Let's go see what that is and let's start diagnosing it. Here's a list of all the diagnostic trouble codes you can get out of the HVAC control unit. You can pause the video if you'd like to read through them all. I'm only interested in code number one, an open in the air mix control motor circuit. All right, so I'm going to test the air mix actuator. To do that, I got to remove this connector. And to do that, I need to get this little clip out. I showed you before using a quarter inch socket. You can actually just kind of get it in there, get your other hand and just pull it out. It makes it really easy. And then we'll just pull that connector down from here. And then we're going to make some checks on the connector. So now that we got the connector down, we just need to make a few checks and we're going to do a little back probing here. So the first one, it's a red wire. It's all the way at the end. We're going to put a back probe in there. And then the second one here, we're going to put a back probe. It's two over. It's going to be the black wire. And let's just get that back probe in there. And then we're going to check the meter as we turn on the key and it should have five volts. All right, so now as soon as I turn on the key, I should have five volts there. 4.98 volts, um, that's good enough. Let me shut that down and do my next check. All right, so the next one, we're gonna leave the red wire where it is. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna put it on the gray wire. And then let's go turn on our key to see if we get five volts. Turn it on the key. 4.90 volts that's close to 5 volts good enough let's do our next check all right next we're going to take that probe off the gray and we're going to put it at the very end and then we're going to do the same check but this time we should see 12 volts or near it now i'm going to turn on the key this time i want to see near 12 volts and if I don't see it, I want to take that temperature control dom, go all the way to cold, and then come all the way back to hot. And there it is. So as long as you got good voltage readings like I did, the most likely cause is going to be the air mix motor or stuck linkage. Let me show you how to remove the air mix motor to check that linkage. So as far as the actuator, there's just three screws holding it on. One, two three i'm just going to use a nut driver with a seven millimeter and it should go pretty quickly there's the first one there's our second one and then the third one's over here those are out we're just gonna come over here and pull this out so once it's off you want to come up here and you just want to make sure this is free up down up down it's all free 
So I'll need the air mix actuator, but how this works is when it's in one position, it directs the air through the heater core. And when it's in the other position, it directs the air into the evaporator for cold air. And when you're in the middle here, it directs it half and half. So that's how your air mix door works. It just redirects the air. All right, so to get the air mix actuator back in. So the only tricky spot is you have to line up this notch with the linkage. So I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna sneak it in there. And then you gotta line that up. And then line your bolt holes up. Grab your screws. I'm going to go ahead and just get one in. That way it'll hold it. So two more screws, one here, just get that started, and the other one right here, grab my nut driver, And then we'll just go ahead and plug it in. And then don't forget our little clip. If you're getting low flow out of your vents or it's not switching to the bottom or the windshield, that could be the mode actuator. I do have a video on that. I'll link it at the end of the video and in the description. Also, any products that I use today, I'll put in the description. I hope you liked this video and got something out of it today. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't wanna...